hafi imana that closer to god ni kure icha is so far away from sin kure imana and so far away from god ni hafi icha is closer e to sin subirem. let me repeat that e kambi subirem let me repeat that hafi iman closer to god ni kure icha is far from sin kure imana and far from god ni hafi icha is close to sin umare ndumwe ari mutashobora gutangira gutakomereza ibintu ntabande kurevisa bya mbere hafi yakanoka ya kino kibo close by this basket ni kure akaria is far away from the other one ariko kure yakanoka ibo but as far as you go from this ndimo ndaje hafi yakaria i am coming close by this one uko nyegera imana the close i come by uko nyihiji the game more time i give him ntabwo nyene ku uko biri ndi cyo Already mwanya na ihai gihe the time that i give him namaze kujya kure i am far away uko ngenda nyuga namba busy but the way i got distracted i'm busy kure yayo the more i go far niko, from him niko ndimo ndegera icha i am closing yeye twajya imana when you can give god time ubyutse burazi when you give god time revival comes the reason we are teaching this is that the worldly people know the time for sin. they know to invest in sin when you are drunk and you drink even when you have a project in the morning. when you are immoral you invest in immorality when you love music you sleep in the business. They invest in time because they don't know what they are doing. If they do it likewise. Now if you say that. Now if you say and I said it. Mujye cha covid in the time of covid. Muri guma muruko in the time we are. Nibwo prarirwa yungutse kuruta igihe gihe cyose. That is where a prarirwa got a lot of investment. Nibwo bijyango ari ikinzi. You are many ago bache bakajya kunwa. They never knew you never knew where they would pass to go and drink. Ariko basanga muri guma murugo. But you find during the Gumamuru. Gumamuru. <laughs> We have taken some time preaching. Kandi twatumo turagani ntego nziza mufite on a good theme that we have. Iri mu Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 14. Ibe bivuga ngo Romans chapter 5 verse 14. Ibe bivuga ngo Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 14. Ibe bivuga ngo ye usinzirie. That says oh you sleeper. Kanguka ubyuke. Wake up and arise. Kristo akumurikire. So that Christ may shine on you. Abatware turi kumwe. The people who are with Ah uh, twatangiye dutekereza kuri iryo jambo cyo rivuga. We just thinking and meditating upon what the word. Ndashaka gusubira inyuma gato yo kuma twinjira mu jambo y'uno munsi twabyuvishije. I want to recap a few things so that we go by the word today. Hano harabwirwa umuntu usinziriye. They are telling a person who is sleeping. Kandi umuntu usinziriye and a person who is sleeping. Ntabwo ari ubihitamo. Is not the person who decides to sleep. Umuntu usinziriye a person who sleeps ni integenye is by the weaknesses no mutsi irwa agenda kora they are weak each and every time no neho ageregerana nirwa they get a time when they get weak you bakeneye kuruhuka and they feel like uh, resting ikindi gituma unasinzira another thing that causes a person to sleep nibihe is the time ya ibihe amasaha the time of the season or the timing igihe wakoresheje igihe kinini ku mutsi When you work hard you get tired and you want to uh, you, that person is sleeping no person decides which time for you can even sleep when you are walking you can even sleep when you are in a sitting room when you wake a person sleeping many times they don't know they are sleeping the second thing it is good to sleep for the person sleeping they need that time to maximize so that they may wake themselves 
every people hate these things. Changwe ni mudenanja. The things that disorganize a person. Ni ukubona umuntu ukanguye. Is seeing a person who wakes them up. Ukwa umuntu ukanguye uri mu bitotsi. It is not good for a person to wake you up. Uri jamiye umuntu ukanguye. You are sleeping somebody is waking you up. Kwese biratujen. And it is not good. Hari no gukangura. As a person who wakes you up. Even you abuse them, why is stopping me from sleeping? There's a person who wakes you up. And you don't even hear them. There are times when we put alarms in our phone. Sometimes at 5 a.m. And by 5 a.m. If the alarm goes. You wake up. Uh, you stop the alarm. But because of much sleep, you go back to bed. After five minutes, it, it, the alarm goes again. And say, it is disorganizing me. This person they are waking up, they are asleep. But there is a voice calling them. Say, oh, you sleeper. Arise. And then they say, rise from the dead. There are two things. A sleeper. And because of the sleep. There is another person who sleeps. And they are like though day. The person they are waking up, they are not just waking them up alone, but they are resurrecting them. There is sleep that makes it sleep spiritually and they make you as though you are dead. The good thing we are learning, there is a voice of power. There is a voice of power that tells a person even when you are asking even when you look like a arise so that Christ may shine on you. There are voices. There is a voice calling you different from that of another. When you wake up from sleep, you find yourself in the sitting room because a voice is waking up. This voice is telling this person the person that is asleep because, because of darkness because of darkness he is asleep. Another person telling you, wake up. Without taking care of his time, time. Irrespective of what you Awake. Awake. So that Christ alone may shine on you. In other words, we are coming from the time people are slumbering. All the cells that are not working the same that people are sleeping. But the opportunity we have that without the sleep that you are in and the while you are snoring asleep but you sleep. Arise so that I may shine. If you. you. If you get this verse. It is a verse of revival. Irrespective of anything. It is a verse of Irrespective of the mass, irrespective of the attack, but they are telling every sleeper, telling every sleeper, we have so many backsliders, the people that you will never see again. But even you, there is a voice. Oh, you sleeper. Oh, you sleeper. The thing that will arise so that Christ will shine on you. To be able to shine is to give direction. There is God that brings direction. Don't think it's only by the truth. There are many things. There are things that are making you arise so that I give you a direction. He's telling men and women, the young 
and he's telling you arise so that I may shine on you. The people we are with we saw different reasons why people sleep. And today we will add on the third one. Probably there are many but these are the ones God wants us to talk about. The first thing we talked about on Wednesday why sleep comes why sleep comes on a church? One thing that makes a church to sleep is slumbering. You are distracted, you are busy. The church is distracted. We are in the times in the times of destruction. If they are telling, ask you how many things did you do before you came here? And the things you'll do after. The things you have not completed. You will see that there are so many. There are so many we are distracted. But the church of Christ. We need to arise. Even when we are distracted, God still needs you. God needs you. God needs you. He wants time with you. We discussed that. There is no revival without you giving God time. In fact, the price for revival on your life, on the church, on the nation, is your own time. The church needs to come out of destruction and know that there is need for time. That the owner of time is there so that you may give him time. But imagine the owner of time requesting you to give him time. And if you don't give him that time, as we discussed, he can give it to himself. You want me to prove that? In the month of 20, 20 something in March, 2020 as you are preparing different things uh, there was a yellow paper announcement and it says you are not allowed to go out of your homes you, three weeks th six weeks you were at home and it added up to 1st of May the owner of time was looking yeah, for time. Him. And the owner can get that time. In December, indeed he said, you are looking back at home. We forget very quickly. The owner of time, he can get that time in the hospital, Siashka. he can get it at Faisal, he can even find it at Majeraj in the prison. He knows when, where he can get that time. Revival, waking up, is coming out of all the things causing you to slumber so that we may give him time. You cannot get revival without time. Do not even blame people that they are sinful. The time you don't give time the time. The, the time you give God determines how righteous you are before God. The time you draw from God is symbolic of how far you have fallen from God. The people we talked about, I told them. That that closer to God is so far away from sin. And so far away from God 
ni hafiicha is closer to sin. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Half iman closer to God ni kureicha is far from sin. Kure iman and far from God ni hafiicha is close to sin. Umare ndu mwari muta shwa kutangiri kuta komeni zibini na wande kurevizi vjambini. Hafi ya kanoka ya chino chivo close by this basket ni kure akaria is far away from the other one aliko kure akano kibo but as far as you go from this ndimo ndaja hafi ya kari i am coming close by Pero, this one uko neje riman the close i come by uko nyihiji the game more time i give him ago nyene ku uko birindi cha already mwanya na hai jihe the time that i give him namaze kuja kure i am far away uko ngenda nyuga namba busy But the way I got distracted I'm busy. The more I go far from him. I am closing by the sin. When you can give God time. When you give God time revival comes. The reason we are teaching this is that the worldly people know the time for sin. They know to invest in sin. When you are drunk and you drink even when you have a project in the morning. When you are immoral you invest in immorality. When you love music you sleep in the disco. They invest in time because the devil is like, If they do it likewise. And I said it in the time of covid in the time we are going that is where Brari got a lot of investment they never knew you never knew where they would pass to go and drink but you find during the gumamuruko There is a person there is a Christian who never read even one book in the bible Many people go to drink. They maximize the drinking. Perhaps you find there are those who didn't give of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says do not be filled by alcohol, but by the Holy Spirit. The God is calling us from the destructions of the earth. The second thing sleep comes by sleep comes because when people when people are in ordinary things people are just in formalities if you go by the routine you go by the ordinary things you will find yourself asleep because god does not want in ordinary things. god wants you to go into extraordinary things you cannot move with god and you'll keep in the ordinary things. when the singers already sing in the ordinary way, sleep will find you. when you teach by the ordinary things, sleep will find you there when you find the intercessors interceding in ordinary things sleep will find there. when you offer in ordinary things you will sleep in that ordinary way you sang a protocol a protocol mu bisanzwe when the ashes are sharing the normal way basizira mu bisanzwe you will sleep in that normality when the church is in the normality you will understand that it's going to be religious if ugena cyo muntu wara ndabakunda abanini abanyeshuri banje ano bimanyeshuri banje mushumana nshuti yanje If you take 5 years at the same time as the church you are in normality. The problem the tragedy of normality. You don't get time to enter into the special things. Oh you sleeper. 
Arise. Christ so that Christ may shine on you. When you have spiritual eyes that are no more. When you just come by on, on the weekend. At 9 a.m. to midday. You become a religious person. If you know that you are being helped because of the certain way of dancing, you are always at that level. But God told Abraham, and he said unto him, even when it was a good time of an old man of 95 years, Arise. It is not only here. Come out of this no more. Go to the land. Leave the common thing. Go to another Zion Come out of this no more. To another nation God has promised you. The cells don't just continue the When the church is got revival, it comes out of the common It goes to the special things. In fact, ordinary things. It doesn't keep by the ordinary things. You go by the comfortable zone. In that routine, and you that is why in the chapter two and verse five. And Paul says that being Christ Jesus, even when he had the same nature of God, and yet he was with God, he did not keep that nature of God. That was an ordinary thing. He knew there was a special thing. He broke that comfortable zone. And he said, if I live by the common and I will not get my promises. If I keep by the covenant, if I keep by the covenant, there are things I will not get. I will not keep by that. And he came out of the common He became man. He went towards the cross. He was despised. He was leaving the ordinary things into the special and after that, that's why G God gave him the name above all names. So that every God in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, all will say that Jesus is the Lord. Come out of the ordinary things. All the announcements is come out, come out of ordinary things. If you want revival, if you want revival, take time in the presence of the Lord. Come out of ordinary things into special times. I get, you say, I get help because I sit by that seat. When I'm out of that seat, I don't, got, I don't get help. If I do like this, that's when I get help. The people in the ordinary way, they never know the extraordinary. The, the, the musician said, it is not here. It is not here. It is not here. There is also another place I must go. If you keep by the ordinary things, just listen to me. If you keep by the ordinary things, you don't, you don't want to break that comfort zone. You are just comfortable. It is a comfortable zone. If we do two days of fasting, that's it. What happens? God himself can take you out. And if he is to take you out of the ordinary things, 
is like a person shooting the ball. You see the ball. Even when it goes towards the... the, the but there is a certain fit. There is a foot that hits it. And that strength is not by the will of the ball. The ball is not... Like say, let me hit it so hard. That is why sometimes when you don't want to leave the ordinary to the extraordinary, God sometimes brings chaos and conflict. Brings trials. He brings hardships. And say these things should take, take him from this place. There are people who don't know that conflicts and hardships is to take them from the ordinary towards extraordinary. That is why Jesus on the cross he said this is what he said that forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. They don't know that the spirit and these hearts they are taking me to where God wants me. It is tragedy for you to sleep in the ordinary. The third thing. That is a summary. Yeah. That's a good summary. The third thing. 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 The this, the sleep that comes by the ordinary. But I'm going to tell you the third kind of sleep. And I want to thank God. And this is marching by the times we live. John chapter 3. And John chapter 3. Verse 3. The third kind uh, of sleep. The first sleep is destruction. Uh, the, the second one is sleeping in the ordinary things. The third kind of sleep. The Lord has visited us. The Lord has visited us. John chapter 3. John chapter 3 and verse verse 13 to 18 umuntu wavuye akamanuka kaza hasi kandi manitse inzoka mu butayo niko umwana w'umuntu akwire kumanikwa kugira ngo umwizera wese abone guhabwa ubugingo buhoraho guko imana yakunze abari mwisi cyane byatumye itanga umwana w'ikinege kugira ngo umwizera wese tarimbuka ahubwo habwe ubugingo buhoraho guko imana itatumye umwana yo mwisi gucira abari mwisi witeka ahubwo bikoreye kugira ngo abari mwisi bakizwe nawe umwizera murongo wa 18 umwizera ntaca ntacirwaho iteka utamwizera amaze kurikirwaho guko Atizeye izina ry'umwami w'Imana umwana w'Imana w'ikinege amen amen ah uh, hanyuma tujye muri muri Petero let's go to Peter Petero wa mbere first Peter wa well, Petero wa kabiri second Peter second Peter chapter 3 chapter 3 murongo wa 9 and verse 9 aravuga ngo Umwami imana nta ntitinze sezerano ryayo nkuko bamwe batekereza yuko iritinza ahubwo itwihanganira idashaka kwagira numwe urimbuka ahubwo ishaka ko bose ihana amen bitotse bya gatatu ubwo kubwa gatatu bibitotse the third type of sleep ahubwo dushaka ko imana idukura 
where we want God to remove us. Sleep. Let me talk about sleep. Mm. Is the time when the church is slumbering, forgetting the people that are perishing. I just want to repeat that. The time when the church is sleeping, and they forget they that are perishing. Let me say that this way. Yes, when Jesus was speaking with Nicodemus, he wanted to teach him about being born again the second time. Being born again. And the problem with Nicodemus was that he was a wise man. And yet he was a teacher. He was a great professor. No, no. He wanted to tell him about salvation in Christ Jesus. And Jesus knew that Nicodemus could not get understand that. Until he demonstrated it through by being born. And Nicodemus could still not understand. And he demonstrated it in a simple way. And he said, as Moses hung the snake on the tree, and whoever would see it would get him. It's the same way the Son of Man will be hung. So that whoever will believe in him will get him. We will come by this. Creature. That for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. That whoever believes in shall not perish but have eternal life. And verse 17 that whoever believes has eternal life already. But whoever does not believe he is already condemned. But verse 18 says whoever has believed in him has life already. But whoever does not believe in him is already condemned. In fact, every person that is not born again is already condemned. In other words, we have our uncles that have a document of eternal condemnation. There is a person that sins in Rwanda, yet they are not in Rwanda. And then the court will sit, respective of where they are, and they will condemn them. Even when they are not there. But wherever they go, the government of Rwanda has already condemned it. There are people, the kingdom of heaven, already judged them. Just understand. You can sit with your father on the table, yet the heaven has already condemned him. You can have a friend. You can work with the person. You can stay with the person in the end. Yet they have been eternally condemned. Even when they are eternally condemned, when they go by Second Peter, Chapter 3 and verse 9. This is what it says. That God does not delay his promises. As some of us think. He doesn't want us. He is not wanting us not to go to heaven. I know that you long to go to heaven. But there are people who are already condemned. There are people who are condemned. But in my plan, 
Because I have condemned them already. Even when they are already condemned. Waiting for the day of judgment. Always he's waiting. So that no person, no one, no person so that no one will perish. The heart of God he doesn't want any person not a single person. Even the person who fetches water for you, no person. Let me give you a simple example. You will say that where would I get the people who are not who, are, who has a smartphone here? Just, 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 just lift up your phone. Even when you have two Just lift the phone. If you didn't leave it at home, just lift it. Just follow me. This is a spiritual If you your telephone. Just get that yao. phone. Just hold it like your this. Telephone. Just get this phone by your hands. Just hear the announcement. Hear the announcement of heaven. If, if you have it at home, please, when you go home, lift it. Just lift it. Just lift it. Just lift it. God does, is not slow in his promises. Say God is not slow in his promises. But but he's ever waiting that all the people in my family, no one missing, will perish. Don't. Not any person. People on WhatsApp. Or people on Facebook. On Instagram. On Instagram. No person will perish. You have many groups. Many, many groups on WhatsApp. Go home say this, saying this week, my plan this week, for God wants nobody to perish. He's not sending you by the market to preach. In your cell, you have yes, the whole cell in your, in your cell phone. You have all the phone numbers of your cell in your cell phone. God wants that nobody will perish in that cell. The people that we started with, our families, the people that work for families, so that none among them will perish. When you open your phone, uh, some of you have 300 Facebook. Others have over 5,000 Facebook friends. You have so many people on Instagram. But we are coming out of slam. You hear the announcement. No one missing. No one perishing. Do you know why you give offering? Do you know why those cells are there? Do you know why there are so many things? One thing. There is one thing. So that none of them will perish. You can say, where can I begin? Do you know the reason? 
All the people can name. The people in your phone. The person that can help them not to be condemned. Cancel them. Or break the, 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 the condemn. The one that can cancel the condemnation is you and me. It is us who will preach the good news of Jesus Christ. It is us who will preach to them Jesus Christ. Even the child that was Knowing that the father of seven even when they cannot speak, they need Christ. That heart, the church, if the church can attract that heart, thinking about how they will so that they will know that life is through me. There are things I ask myself. After a person would get saved, before, after getting saved, the second thing that would follow. They would think about another person not yet saved. There's a time of revival. You would just go to dig for somebody so that you may preach to them about Christ. At this time, you don't need to dig for somebody. You can buy somebody. You may not go to dig. You can just get your money and say, come and we share. I want to tell you about Christ. And his love is through his son Jesus Christ. What you need to do is to have faith in it. Because during the, the gospel, the good news, we don't, we, we are not convincing the people. We are not convincing the people. We just preach, we declare. We preach the good news. We know the reason. In this project of God, so that no person would be destroyed, there are two partners. The first partner, me preaching. In other words, he himself can come and preach to them. Say, so if you don't preach, the stones come. But we have the opportunity that we are partners together with Christ. We speak. And then the sponsor, another partner, is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit says, Go speak. Me, I will pass behind and convince the world. And convince them and convict them of sin. The reason why people fear to preach the good news. You are not there then they go to convince. It is not you that convince. Just speak what you ought to speak. That's why for me. You cannot escape when we meet somewhere. Without me preaching Christ to you. You know why? It's not my responsibility to convince you. I don't say, but I can preach Christ to you. I want to repeat that. If you ask me in family parties or any other event, it is not me that convinces. But there is one that convinces. When on Zoom there are meetings before they begin, they are on Zoom. But before they say, hey, we are waiting for the people, they say, I have an announcement. I have a simple announcement. The first thing, there is God that loves you. That's why you are alive. That's why you are walking. The second thing, the love of God is through Jesus Christ. He died for you on the cross. So that where there is sin, there comes righteousness of God. How do you receive it? You receive it by faith. What is its power? Eternal life. Thank you. Whoever wants to believe in him, this is the time for you to do that. May God bless you. And I'm done.
You just go that if you don't get saved, you will be destroyed. Do not spice up the gospel. It is only faith. The, the fourth one. The, what is the product? The product is eternal life. All the spices you put in come out of Sabbath. If God does not produce, you talk about purgatory, you are wasting time. Tell the sinner God loves you. Tell them about the gift God gave them through Jesus Christ. Tell them to believe in him. Talk about eternal life. If they say yes, no. if they say no, I'm done with my job. You are done with what you ought to do. So that no one, no one, no one, not a single person will perish. I get hurt. The people that cross by the neighborhood. Like uh, uh, my 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 word is 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 always high. That people that have, that people have pairs that are broken. Every three days. But people know how to proclaim other things. They don't even have the other things. Why do we not preach about Christ? God will not ask you about the people in the market. But the people of your audience, and do you have an audience? For, for bright shower. In bright shower, they talk about many things, but you would say that. You need to tell them that however way, whichever way you handle yourself, you need Christ. Speaking to your audience, 400 in number. 100 in number. Tell the you young girls, remember Christ. What does that need? They are talking, and some of them they are talking about different other things. Even in his neighborhood, they know him. For the community work, they know him. They say, You have done great things. Great health. Good health. But if we forget having Christ in this neighborhood, so that we may accept him. We will keep having thieves. We will keep having the prostitutes. There is no rib law that goes against that. Even the legal system of Rwanda does not stop that. But the Muslim countries don't have opportunity to listen to this. I went, I went to Saudi Arabia. They could not allow me a visa. Yeah, because of the gospel that I stand for. You are ever posting other things. I want us to awake from slumbering. It's not a responsibility to ask the people to be saved. Just 
tell them the good news. If they were going to get saved, they would get saved. During the time of revival, before Sunday, you would have at least three people you have booked to come to church. You would go and wash for them. And iron for them. And say, don't know. I want to see you come to church. January, March, April, you are coming alone to church. You wash their clothes. Today you don't need to wash for them. Just give them, give them transport. Bring them to Christ. And if you see, you see the extent that you don't have the band to preach the person no, who man, takes care of Let your child. Let me show that to you. This worker, this is your own worker, is the first person that destroys a kid's mind. They have come from working for Muslims. All the things they bring them up. And you ask them, do you have medical insurance? How much do you need? The third thing. Do you have 18 years? That's why your kids, they know so many songs than the ones of the church. Because of the workers, they sing funny songs. Some of them are not married. They don't have any kids. Yeah, because that's why they have all the bad vices, because we don't have the burden. The, the, the teacher that teaches them um, no, the one that, if, you don't, if you don't preach to them, they will affect your kids. If you stay, if you stay with many people in the house, if you don't preach to them, you will get the results in your own home. The mom, the kid three I has told me, said, do you I have, have do you have something? I could not understand that. The child asked me, do you have no coffee? If we are slumbering and we don't preach good news to the people, why don't we go with the Jesus? We go with the Jesus Jesus. Everywhere you move with the Jesus. Anniversary is the Jesus Jesus. Keep in the Jesus Jesus. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Oh, the Oh, Deus, I'm 
na wamanukira Azawakira bagambo Okuma mi Yerusalemu Iyutea ni Samaria Okukeza kumira Yesu Yesabira ni Shwame Hallelujah. God is ready to use that person. God is ready to use that person. God is ready to make so it to, to preach the good news to of So that the God of the pray for the Holy Spirit. Pray for you. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will testify. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The fire of evangelism. Sat. In Jesus. Thank you for your Thank you for your Thank you for your Thank you Hallelujah! 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 <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah! 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 Yeah, we're sincere. Oh, you sleeper. Kangwa Kristo kumurichi. 